Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about creating medicine circus or mandala fusing the real treasures that we have here on planet earth. I'm going to show you one by one some of the things that we can use and then we're going to go ahead and create one. So I've got some dry carnation, wheatgrass that I collected, I do classify or um, arrange different shells in order for me to just easily access some of these. Um, this one with particular pattern that kind of looks a bit more uh, old, different selection pieces of shell that are sometimes very useful to just create, um, was helpful to create different uh, patterns. Then again, uh, classifying by the shapes, corals, one big shell, we will need something big, you know, to begin or start the center, we'll see about that. And we also will need some little things, and I've got this super cute and gentle little puffs, look at the star, can you see the star inside, it's a sand dollar from Maldives that I've got left. Um, little pieces of crystals, again collected from different sites, fresh leaves, dried leaves, dried flowers, fresh cypress fruit, dried cypress fruit, and uh, look at this, I've got a pine cone, a beautiful Look at the flower itself, it's gorgeous. Um, a pine cone has a very powerful symbol as well, so it could be a center of our altar or um, the medicine circle that we're going to be creating. And look at this, this is an original from Altai, it has actually pine nuts inside. Some pine, fresh pine needles, different seeds from fruits that I eat. This is does anybody know these guys? They are amazing. They could be used to in um, drying your fabrics. It is the eucalyptus. Some of the stones that I just love the shape of bigger crystals. Obviously, we can use real feathers. And at the bottom here, we got glass that has been polished by water cracked on the seashores gorgeous all right so these are our elements let's see how we're gonna play around <laughs> 